Hey guys, um, so what an eventful month April has been. Um, we started off the month with our first in-person <laughs> in person show of the year at the Children's Benefit Horse Show held at the Dream Park. Um, it started off great. He was really well behaved and relaxed warming up. Um, and then we got into the showing for our under saddle class. Um, now he's been at that show before. We did a lot of open arena nights, I want to say two years ago. Yeah, because last year was with everything was closed with COVID. Um, so two years ago, um, we would go for open arena nights and we went all the time. He was great, never spooked. Um, and then of course we had one day, I forgot to pack my saddle on the trailer. So I rode him bareback. I mean, he was great. Um, so he was really good in the warm up, like I said, and he was just like relaxed, like willing and listening really well. Um, well, he was not happy with something because I completely lost him, um, like was totally blowing me off, not listening to me at all. Um, he was pacing, head up in the air. He was moving like way forward and just not himself at all. Um, usually he's pretty relaxed or um, like attentive but not pacing like that. It was just really bizarre. Um, so I don't know what happened. Um, and then <laughs> during our canter class, I could not help but just laugh at him when I asked for a transition go, because it was boy. awful and okay. all kinds of uh, bad. <laughs> um, but uh, it was just really like disappointing afterwards. Um, I felt really discouraged and um, I don't know. It was just a little, a little sad because it wasn't like him at all. And I kind of felt like I failed him. Um, I felt like it was something I did. I didn't prep him maybe, or I'm not too sure, but I don't know. I just felt like I failed him. Um, and shortly after that, I had COVID. <laughs> uh, my boyfriend and I ended up getting it. He got it before I did. Um, I separated from him, but I still ended up getting it. So we just quarantined together. Um, Thankfully, it was a very mild case. I uh, just felt like I had a cold. Um, but man, did I miss Dino. <laughs> um, now, my boyfriend's got a farm and they have some fence like put up at the front because they do a CSA. And I kept telling him, like, I wish we fenced off the whole front because I would have really liked to brought my horse home for two weeks because I missed him a lot. <laughs> um, but I think it was a good thing that he had the two weeks off because he really had time to think about everything. Um, and I think maybe I was just working him too much, not giving him enough time um, to really think because he does appreciate like a day off. Not so much that he doesn't have to work, but he really does think about like what just happened, like what I was asking. Um, he was doing something that I didn't like, you know, he was understanding like, okay, I shouldn't be doing that. If I do this and it's better. Um, so I think it really kind of helped him because um, as soon as I was cleared out of quarantine, um, we had a really great first ride back. Um, he was really good um, listening to me in the bridle, not spooky at all. And that first day back, it was a very, very windy day um, and he didn't care at all. He was really good. I didn't do anything with the canner, just wanted to get on and trot. Um, but I think that's what he needed. He just needed that time. Um, and then we had a show the first week of May, or that the first of May. Um, so we only got three rides in at the end because I had COVID towards the end of the month. Um, and I will talk about that show and how that went for our May update. <laughs> um, and I can't wait for the next one. Um, happy riding, guys. Bye. Say bye, Dino.